For me to explain why you right now in 2024 should install retail World of Warcraft and start playing, I need to tell you a few things first. It's August the 30th, 2016. After over a year of clearing the same raid every week on Mythic, Hellfire Citadel grew very tiresome. Not just for me, but probably for the vast majority of players. With only a few months between each raid during Warlords of Draenor to then sitting in the same one for a year, yeah, not good Blizzard. Why am I telling you this? Well, it was only a matter of days after Legion launched and I raced my Demon Hunter to the max level of 110 that I quit WoW for good. No turning back. WoW's dead. Rip Legion. See you on the other side. After multiple small stints of not playing for a few weeks here or a month there, this was actually it. Fans of World of Warcraft around the world, we hear you. I am pleased and also a little bit nervous to announce the development of a classic server option for World of Warcraft. Oh, f well, I at least went a few years without touching back then the only version of official World of Warcraft we had. Of course, I was still playing the odd fresh private server that launched, but still, unfortunately, no matter what anyone says, fresh is best. Maybe one day Blizzard will actually learn this and spin up a fresh RAF server, a fresh ERA server, or even a fresh TBC server. Because honestly, at this point in time, I think any of those would do pretty well. But anyway, if you would have asked me a year ago if I would ever touch modern WoW again, or retail as normal people refer to it as, I would have said absolutely no chance at all. I've played the last few expansions beta for a week or so, then not even considered touching it past that. So what has changed now? Why am I playing retail and actually enjoying it? Not just enjoying it, but absolutely bloody loving it. Is it the changes the devs have made since Legion? Is it the pre-patch event? Is it how good the War Within looks? Or maybe even the raids and the fact that they are new and more difficult than classic raiding? No, it's actually none of that. Let me first start by saying I play a lot of World of Warcraft. I mean, you could probably have guessed that, but I raid on Cataclysm Classic on multiple characters. I'm leveling every class and doing various different things on retail. I even play on Stormforge, which is a mop server, slowly getting every character to 90 and geared over there as well. And even over the last few days, I've been playing a little bit of Season of Discovery, but I do struggle putting any great deal of time into Season of Discovery because honestly, I just prefer any other version of the game. I would like to see Molten Core at least once in its 20-man state, so I guess it's got to be done. Remove the Mr. Pandaria stuff, and honestly, I really get my money out of my sub, which I don't even pay for. What? 1 GDKP a month on Cataclysm, and that's three versions of WoW paid for each month, and I'm playing them all. Pretty good deal, to be fair. I just love WoW. I struggle playing any other games. They don't grip me how WoW does and always has, and I'm not just talking about other MMOs. I just mean any game at all. And you're probably thinking, all right, Scott, but what's the relevance to all of that and why you should play retail or why I should play retail? Well, I said that it was none of those big reasons people give about playing retail, which is why I personally am playing I'm playing it and enjoying it because I actually don't care about endgame content. I'm playing it for everything else. Are the raids fun? Sure they are. Have I been doing them? Of course I have. Mythic Plus is amazing small group content, which I've been pretty much hammering the last few days. All the different ways of gearing up is crazy good, and flying around just feels fantastic with the sky riding system, which of course was dragon riding through Dragonflight, but now you can just do it anywhere. You really need to just try the sky riding system just to understand how good it actually feels. But forget all that. How do you want to play the game? That sounds like such a weird thing to say because what most people associate with WoW, especially people like me, is quick. Rush to max level, get gear and start raiding to get more gear to then use that gear to get passes and rinse and repeat pretty much every new phase of content. You just don't need to play retail like that. I know lots of people do, but if you're a classic enjoyer like me, raiding and pushing progress and trying to pass in one version of the game, it might just be enough for you. Retail can be the place just to wind down and have fun. I wanted to play through all the expansions that I'm unfamiliar with, so hence why I was talking about Legion earlier on. Even the expansions that I just haven't touched yet in Classic, which I wanted to experience again. If you aren't aware because you haven't played retail for a long time, you can just speak to Chromie and pick a timeline so you can level in whatever expansion you want. That means you can run RDF, so Random Dungeon Finder, for that particular expansion as well as you're leveling up, get any reps associated with them, 
and basically anything else you can think of. So if like me you didn't absolutely hate the garrison system as an example, then starting in Warlords of Draenor could be a good place to go. To make this extra fun I went completely fresh, so I left my EU account behind which I'd no life for the best part of 12 years and switched to an NA account which literally has nothing. The key is to not feel overwhelmed. Sure there's going to be stuff that you don't know, ways of doing things that feel weird to you, even the profession system which is absolutely light years ahead of classic i absolutely love it but it can be confusing at first just take the game in small chunks be like what do i want to achieve today for example when you reach level 40 you can start doing quest lines to unlock the allied races so these are the allied races which are races that you won't be familiar with if all you've played is classic whenever you create one of these allied races they instantly start at level 10 and have some really cool racials in comparison to the regular old races so setting goals like unlocking the allied races or working on getting all your heirlooms for your alts which by the way is exactly why i worked on the garrison in the first place was to get the heirloom ring from the boat missions leveling multiple characters through different timelines to remind yourself of where everything is or actually experience expansions you might have missed for the very first time even doing the time walking when it's up each month because that's a super fast way to level. I smashed a character up in a day while time walking was on, getting to 40 don't take long, and then once you're in time walking dungeons, it's smooth sailing to 70. While talking about leveling, I'd have to mention what's left of the pre-patch event for the War Within, because while it's monotonous, you really can level a character in the space of a couple of hours and jump straight into things like LFR or low mythic keys, or even just random heroics if you want to see the dungeons. It's even a great way just to gear up, because by the time you hit level 70 by doing the pre-patch event, you're going to have the currency from the pre-patch to buy a full set of 480 gear. It's not the most exciting event in the world, but if you don't know how it works, if you're Horde, for example, you can find a portal just outside the auction house that will take you to the legion version of dalaran you'll run down to where khadgar is and now there'll be a portal there which rotates every hour between duswallow marsh searing gorge and dragon blight and you're just gonna run around and do all the world events until one of the big bosses spawn kill them profit rinse and repeat and you're gonna level really really quick the good thing about this event as well is you can get an heirloom ring you buy this depleted ring from the vendor in dalaran or any of the zones that have got the event going on you'll be randomly awarded with memories of the specific zone that you're doing the pre-patch in and you're guaranteed around five from the end boss each day once you make one big memory so combining the 20 small memories then you just combine one of each of the zones with the ring and you've got an heirloom ring forever. But yeah, just don't feel the stress of needing to gear up and to raid because it's actually just such a small part of the game nowadays. I'm pretty sad and absolutely love pet battles, so I've been leveling pets left, right, center on both retail and the mop server and it never gets old to me. Being able to get character XP and level your pets at the same time is just an awesome way to play the game. Remember this also adds an entire other layer of content because you need to go and get pets. So running old raids to get them or do quests that you never did before that reward pets finish certain reputations or achievements for pets in my opinion the pet system is banging i wish we had it in cataclysm classic right now i suppose i should mention the classes and specs and how they feel because i haven't played a character yet that feels boring every class plays so well and the talent trees are absolutely insane it's again something you could look at and be really put off by it because you think they they just look complicated but they're really not just start a character from level 1, and by the time you're level 70, you'll be confident with the talents and how they work. And a great feature is just to go onto Archon or Wowhead or whatever website you look at, try and find a build that you want, and you just copy it and paste it in-game. Pretty sick. Sure, there's a cookie cut spec for raids, Mythic Plus, Open World, PvP, but just enjoy the journey. Work it out for yourself, what the abilities do and what you want because they sound cool, what talents just sound interesting to you, and then roll with it. When you get to max level, you can start putting a little bit of research in and going, oh, actually, I wasn't that far off. Or, oh yeah, I really should change to this spec instead. That's what I've been doing on every character so far, and it's like a mini game in itself. There is just so many ways to experience all the content in the game without having to go stupidly hard. And the weird thing is, me and someone really out of the loop with retail, since I've been playing it, it looks like far more people are playing in this more, I'll say, casual way. Than you probably think doing raid finder delves when they come in war within later this month follower dungeons a story mode difficulty that's going to come for raids with war within as well if mythic plus heroic dungeons time walking old content to farm mounts pets achievements trading post i mean there is just so much that i couldn't fit it all in one video i do want to put a bit more emphasis on mythic plus though a lot of people probably hear this and think god this sounds so hard you know i've never played retail before but 
Everyone hypes up how good M Plus is. Well, it really is, and you definitely should give it a go. Even if you're just doing low keys, and then you'll slowly want to build up naturally, because as you start to do plus twos or plus threes, it'll just start to become too easy for you as you understand the content, and naturally you'll want to progress to higher and higher keys, even if it's just for or personal satisfaction rather than the higher level gear that comes from them but honestly i've been having an absolute blast doing mythic plus with the guys from our classic guild because pretty much all of us are over there now which by the way i should mention if you want to play fairly casually and you're looking at playing war within and you're on na servers hit me up on discord or something join my discord server because we have got a guild set up for war within and we're going to do heroic raids and stuff don't quite know if we're going to do mythic yet but probably is a good chance but if you want to play sort of retail in a bit more of a casual setting then come and join us but like i say i've just scratched the surface for you going out and farming reps mounts transmogs gold old major systems like class halls garrisons and anything else you can think of along those lines doing everything the dragon isles has to offer as well like the dragon races world events like hunts and other stuff going on all the time this video would be about two hours long for me to cover it all but i just wanted to give you a bit of a overview of why i think everybody that plays classic wow at least should give retail a shot because i think it's in possibly the best state i've seen it in for many years and hopefully war within is going to be a banger what's kind of funny is how i say all this now and when the war within launches i'm probably going to end up going disgust in er because i won't be able to help myself so yeah if you don't currently touch retail at all i would recommend giving it a go thanks for indulging me in my little retail story be sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one